Hello all, it's Daniel from the Tutorial Brothers and I'm here with a tutorial on how to create your own font and today I'll be using a Mac but this works for Mac and PC so if you have a PC just follow along. So we're not going to be really designing a font we're going to be pretty much drawing it. Um, just watch, you'll see. So we're going to go to this website called MyScriptFonts.com. There's a link in the description. And the first thing you do is download the template. So we're going to click the template. Here is the template. So we're going to push download. We have it downloaded. Open it up. And here it is. So we're going to print this out. And just push print. And then it'll print out on your printer. So what you do when this prints is you're going to fill in each of these squares. Uh, you don't have to fill out the optional ones unless you want to. But just the first section matters. So you're going to put in your capital A, your B, your C. Uh, just draw it in a certain style you want. Um, anything just make sure it's the letter and make sure you stay in this gray square and also you want to make sure you use a, a pretty thick black pen uh, you want it pretty thick and uh, dark so um, the computer can read it when you scan it back so once you print it out you need to fill it out and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna scan it so now we're going to scan mine in and I filled it all out. I'm going to go to our scanner right there. Here it is and push scan. And I forgot to tell you, you probably want to scan to desktop instead of preview. It just makes things easier. I actually might have to redo it, but we'll try. We've got a pretty slow scanner. Need to buy a new one. Oh, okay, there we go. So now that it's scanned, it should open up in preview. Um, it should. That's why I said you want to do it to the desktop, it just makes things easier. Okay, let me just redo that really quick. Trial and error here. I'm, I, I did that on purpose. I'm just showing you what not to do. Not really, but... So, scan to desktop. We're going to rescan it. Almost there. Scanner is making some weird sounds. That's all right. I hope. There we go. So it's scanned to our desktop. So let's just look at it real quick. I just meant with a really messy font, um, as you can tell. Uh, so that's pretty much what you got to do. Let me zoom in here so you guys can look what I did. So that's pretty much what I'm going to do. Um, do your own style. I went with the messy just so it went quickly. And as you can see it's really dark and in the squares mostly. So let's X that out. Uh, actually you want to open it up real quick and go to tools, adjust size, and make sure it's under 2 megabytes, which it isn't. So let's change the size. Um, make sure it's on lock so the height moves with it so it doesn't morph because that'll um, completely mess it up. Let's try that, calculating. And that's perfect. 
So that is under 2 megabytes. We'll just exit and it'll save. Go back to the website. You're going to push choose file and select your scan that you just scanned. And you're going to call it something. I'll call it really messy. And for Mac, you want to select the format and the true type font, the top one. That's what you're going to use. I'm not sure for PC. Uh, if you want me to look into it, I will. Just uh, comment below. Say you have a PC and you want to know which one to do, and I'll do it. So we're going to send file. Now, if you guys don't want to actually write your own font, you want to design it on the computer, I do know how to do that. So when you're in the comments below, tell me if you want me to do a tutorial on that, and I will for you next time or in the future. So this normally is the longest part of uh, the process because it has to pick each individual letter and make the font file. So this will take a little bit of time. In the meantime, you can go over to our Facebook and click the friend button. You can go over to our YouTube, click the subscribe button. And you can go over to our Twitter and push the follow button. All three of those will change your life for the better. And here we go. Oh, the phone is ringing. I'm sorry about that. Um, there, I just turned it off. <laughs> so... Here it shows a preview, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. They use that sentence because that sentence has every letter in the alphabet. So once you see you like it, that looks really pretty cool, you're going to click the really messy TTF, and it'll download. There's the phone again. I'm going to push it. There we go. Let me turn it. Okay, so it's turned down. So we're going to double click it and this will pop open and we're going to push install font and now it's installed so just to show you I'm going to open up motion and I'll show you this font and then that's it so it's really pretty easy and now the other phone's ringing so <laughs> um, Whoa. There we go. I've forgotten our. There we go. So that's pretty cool. And let me go to Inspector. And we're going to find the R's, and it's called Really Messy Font. There we go. So let's make it bigger. I think that's pretty cool. Um, as you can see, it, you can do uh, numbers and letters, as you know, and then also you can do um, those things. So that's it for today. Um, I just thought that was cool and I'd share it with you. And that is it. See you next time.